Hi everyone, my name is Devesh Sharma. I'm the first vice president of the IDA and I'm speaking to you this afternoon from a very rainy Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. I wanted to talk about the IDA's growing focus on industrial water. Whether it's ultra pure water used in the making of vaccines or simple softened water feeding a boiler to make steam, water is integral to industry and it's embedded in the footprint of pretty much every product or commodity we see. Concerns about brand, environmental compliance, corporate social responsibility, as well as direct impacts on the PL have made water and water risk a boardroom issue all over the world. The most significant driver of water risk today is water scarcity. There's just simply less and less to go around. It's leaving industry to ask questions constantly like, will I have enough water to expand my operations? Will I have enough water to even continue my operations? Water scarcity has also led to regulations around the discharge of wastewater. There are very few places in the world today where one can pollute without facing severe consequences. These risks have led to two of the fastest growing segments in the global water industry, industrial water reuse and desalination. It's very interesting times for industrial water. On one hand, you have a growing need in industry for higher purity water. Higher purity water can lead to better yields of products uh, and very, you know, several issues around uh, uh, making of the product. But you have to produce this pure water from worse and worse and diminishing water sources. So you make better, pure water from worse and worse water. And that's the challenge. And if that wasn't uh, hard enough, you have to also do that economically and reliably. So these are really the, the key issues around industrial water reuse. And some of the more specific issues have to do with, well, one would be recovery. How do I recover more water? How do I do it more economically? Membrane technology is improving at a rate faster than we've seen, and it's making our ability to recover water from more water from more difficult to treat waters um, more of a reality. Uh, but what do you do after you recover all of this water? What do you do with the concentrated waste stream? And that leads us to a segment of the industry called zero liquid discharge. Uh, now that I've recovered this water, what do I do? Do I discharge it? Do I evaporate it? How do I do that economically? How do I do it reliably? Uh, again, we're seeing significant technological advancements with this, with different forms of evaporation addressing this issue. Um, but there's a twist to this now, and one of the real emerging and, and most exciting areas in this are, why do I look at that as waste? Why do I look at that concentrated waste stream as waste? Why can I, I not recover it as a resource? How do we think differently about this? Are there minerals that we can recover? The technology exists to purify this and recover, you know, pure salt, useful minerals. Uh, and this is developing as well day by day. And it's a big focus area of, of talks and conferences that we're having uh, in the industry today. So we're dealing with some of the most challenging water issues. And the IDA is poised to help navigate these waters. And uh, we're determined to increase our engagement with industry. The IDA strives to be a resource for industry, and we want to offer education, technology, best practices, and networking. And it's not only for the technology side of things, but for policy, legal frameworks, as well as business models, a whole holistic view. It's our aim to create a community of members that will support this discourse of water issues leading to everyone's ultimate goal, which is the lowest cost of water. I've been associated with the IDA for over 15 years now, and I'm proud of the progress and growth of our organization, and I hope you will join us in the ongoing conversation about water. Thank you.